hello everyone my name is Atik and in this quick video I'm going to show you how we can create a user which will have only Amazon light sale access because it is it is very common that sometimes we need only a uh, user which have only one service access okay so for AWS services we need to get permission to a user only for one service so that he can work on that so uh, in this quick video I'm going to show you how we can uh, create a policy so that user can access only Amazon Live Sale. So that this is very simple process. We will uh, we will do this in three steps. First step is to create a Live Sale policy so that a user can access Amazon Live Sale only. And then we will create a group, IEM group, so that if we want to add another user, then we can add that user to a group. And finally, we will create a uh, demo user, student one. Uh, so that we can assign that user to access Amazon light sale only so let's just go to management console AWS management console here the first step is we need to create a policy so go to IEM okay so you can uh, choose uh, from here by typing IEM or you can select that okay so in this IEM console dashboard so what we need to do well, first of all we have to create a policy so just go to the policy section and here we have to create a policy so and go to the JSON section and here as you can see this is the empty uh, JSON file we have to put our policy here okay so let me just paste it here okay so this is the policy so what this policy does uh, it only grant access to a user to access Amazon light sale as you can say uh, see the effect is allowed and the action is light sale and the resources are all the resources related to light sale so our users can access uh, Amazon light sale only and all the resources related to light sale so this is the policy we have to create click on next button and here we can add some tags but right now it's uh, not mandatory so we just go ahead and here we have to provide the name so for name you can choose any name so let's uh, let me choose the light sale full access policy light sale full access policy so this will be the name of the our policy and <coughs> here we can provide the description uh, this policy grants okay this policy grant full access okay uh, full access to light sale resources uh, okay so this will be the description then after uh, typing the name and description you can everything is default okay then just create a policy okay so through this uh, we have uh, created a policy that uh, any user uh, will have this policy can can access to amazon light sale so the first step is completed we have created a policy now we have to create a group okay so go to the group section and create a new group and here we, i am going to create a group name is student okay click next and uh, here uh, what we have to do is we have to attach a policy which we have recently created so policy is light sale okay this is the policy which we have recently created we have to attach that to the group and then create group so second step is completed we have created a policy we have created a group student and now we have to create a user so that we can add that user to a group so let me just create a new user uh, name it student one and we have to give the full permission programmatic access and AWS management access so that they can build things and we can create a new custom uh, password for that uh, let me choose it okay okay yes uh, this one is good right and uh, all is good then we have to create next permissions and here we have to specify our group like i am creating a user so this user will be in the group of student group okay which we have recently created 
and click next here we, you can specify the mm, tags but not mandatory and review it and create user so this is very simple now <coughs> we have created a policy we have created a group and we have created a user name as student1 so first we have to download the credentials and then close it so this is very simple now we can access uh, our uh, uh, we can provide this credential to our user which is student1 and he can log into AWS management console and he can only access uh, Amazon live cell so all other services will be distracted for him so this is very simple okay great